Hi guys, it's me Lori. I am coming on to show you a journal that I made with a scrapbook kit that I got from um, Penny Whitmore in a group uh, called Junk Journal Hunters. And um, it was a beautiful kit. It was a huge kit. And I have a video of it and I'm going to upload the video. I'm going to tell you something. I got a new computer and I uploaded it thinking it would be so easy. But I don't know where it went. Like, I'm going to search for it. <laughs> but I'm not exactly sure where it went. So, I know it's in there. I just got to find out where it saved it to. So, I'm doing this one on my old one because I know where it saves things to. So, this is the journal. And it is so pretty. I like this journal. I think mean, it came out great. Uh, the cover and the back are both wallpaper. She sent me some wallpaper. I mean, it came out really pretty. She sent me practically everything in here. Maybe a few things I added, but 90% of this journal is just things she sent me. So I'm not going to keep saying what she sent me or what she didn't send me. I'm just going to um, go through it. So it's tied with some um, pink sari ribbon. Sari trim. I don't know what you got. So it has some ribbon some flat back pearls this adorable little book like I thought this book was so cute and I wasn't 100% sure what to do with it so I just left it whole and I put it in and some paper to write on right there and this doesn't flip up at all it's it's there such a cute little bunny girl I love the bunny girl I had to decide whether I wanted the bunny girl on the cover or wanted to leave the bunny girl inside but I left her inside because like she is so springy and that is what this is about is spring this is another tuck spot and this is some copy paper that has some gold spray on it. Really pretty. And that is a pretty half page. And this is some really cool bright, like you can't tell how bright this yellow paper is. I'm, I'm guessing it's Kool-Aid dyed. It's really beautiful. And this is some yarn trim and some lace. And this flips open and more of that bright, bright yellow paper. And this is so pretty. I mean, this paper is so pretty. It says it comes from the U.S. Postal Service. And that's what it says. I love this paper, too. It a big giant doily. I wasn't sure what to do with the doily, so I thought I would be safe, that big giant doily, and just make a pocket with it. And then I think I could bring it in and close that pocket off a little bit more, but I'm just going to leave it how it is for now. Look at this big, wide, beautiful trip. <sighs> Excuse me, and it has wire in it. It's so pretty. And I use the yellow paper again, the bright uh, Kool-Aid dyed paper. I'm assuming it's Kool-Aid dyed. And I made a pocket and I put another photo of that beautiful bunny and the girl. It's because of the deckled edges on the picture that it doesn't want to go in. Excuse me, I just made a pocket with one of the tags. And then this beautiful 
tag is also in the kit. The kit was printed, some of the kit was printed on some really heavy cardstock, and so it was really easy to make tags. This is some more trim, and it uh, is on this paper that was in there. So beautiful. Oh, that's more than one page. So pretty. Love the green. And this is a calendar page. It's just some sorry trim. And a big tag. And I use that same doily right here. <laughs> sorry, guys. To make this um, little stenciling right there. And then this is... Um, just one of the ephemera that I cut out and I added it to this picture. And there is the beautiful bunny and the girl again. And a tag, a bigger tag. These are interesting. These were just filled with white paper, okay? Inside here, and so I took my punch and I punched that out. And then I just went ahead and taped a little side of the back. And now I can put a picture in there or maybe a leaf, whatever I come across, a flower, it doesn't matter. I can put it in there and highlight it and then just use something to glue it closed. I thought that was cute. Look at this, a gorgeous, I'm really sorry guys, a gorgeous coffee dyed, no, a gorgeous Kool-Aid dyed doily, so beautiful. This is a very nice kit, and if this is everything that was in here for me, is what you get, what you get when she sends you a kit, I mean, that is a wonderful deal. So these little hearts are in the kit also, and I just fussy cut them out, and I used some scraps of that yellow paper to cover them on the back, because yellow is a big color in here. This bag was in the kit. Excuse me. So I just made a pocket with it, and I fussy cut out the bird and some flowers and a bow. And I added a, whatever you call that, and a pearl, and I made some tags to stack back there. So, um, and all of them are from um, file folders. The other side of the doily. And I added in this coffee dyed paper. Isn't that beautiful? Now, this one is so beautiful. I love this green. Like, I don't know what color green this is, but I love it. So in here, I added just a piece of coffee dyed paper. So I stuck that in. I did nothing to it. And I added this cool, I don't know what it is called. Let me look. It's right here. It is collage paper by Ideology. It's these beautiful birds. And I added uh, two little flowers down here. I didn't make these either. <laughs> these come from Paula Zenor. Zenor. Because um, sometimes I buy coffee dyed paper from her when I get low. And don't have time to make it. And I just thought this was so beautiful. That green was so stunning. And that tag is in her kit also. So beautiful. So is this green ribbon that matched this um, envelope beautifully. She gave me that also. I try to stagger out my paper clips.
And so, uh, the other side of that uh, legal paper, and I just punched it with that punch. I love that purple paper. And again, just another flip. And I used some purple trim and everything because it is kind of purplish in there. But also to tie in that purpley paper. You know, just put a theme in there. And I added these um, cool tags that I made. I just um, cut it like size and a half. And then uh, down here at the end of the paper, you know that's at the seam, like where you fold it. I went ahead and cut it and then I just closed it off. This closes that off. And then I added some paper in here to take notes. Sometimes I come home so tired that's all I have time for is to make a little tiny note like that. So that's that. And this one is the same. This is the bag. The other side of that bag and this on the bag is a card that she sent. And it was such a beautiful card. A vintage card. So I cut it up and I added those. And inside is another thing she sent me. It is a postcard. So cute. So I put those down in there. That is so beautiful. This kit is really beautiful. And I didn't decorate this. I forgot. I will go back in and do something to it. Tuck this over here. Like so. That's cute. There. I like the little bunny. He is Eastery. But I also thought he's not only Eastery, he's spring. So I thought he was really cute. And I thought it doesn't have to be Easter. Because it's spring. And I know this page is so stark and white, but it'll give a good writing page. And that is it. And I made this little collage page for the back one. It is just a picture from her ephemera kit and some ribbon she sent and some book page she sent and some lace she sent on a piece of, um, no, actually this is an envelope she sent. And this is the other uh, piece of the yellow paper and this is also a tuck spot. For a photo. I could put a uh, I could put a tab on there just so you would know. Um, can I do that real quick? Do I have any here to make a tab? <coughs> I don't really have anything right here. To make a tab right now, everything up here is delegated to another album that I'm going to make a different day. But I will put a tab right here because it needs a tab. And then that is the back of that page. So beautiful. And then this opens up and it hides the 
you know, the back of the sari ribbon. And it has a big pocket to put things in. And the magnet still works even though this is tied to it. And that's the back. So that's it. And I'm going to put this in my Etsy shop. One day. Probably not today. But I did want to show Penny what I did with her kit. And ladies, I have listened to you. <laughs> and I will be putting more things uh, in my Etsy shop. But life is busy right now. And I don't have time. I don't even really have time to make journals just right now. So um, this weekend coming up, I'm going to work on a couple of prayer journals. And then... Um, whatever else I can play with. Like, I did download the new Artie Maze, the um, cooking one, but I've already downloaded the Dragonfly one I haven't even got to play with yet. So, um, I'm going to, you know, progress into some more albums for my shop. But I will list this one someday when I have time. And if you want it, that is where it will be. And if you do want it, you can always message me and um, just purchase it that way. See you guys later. Have a great night and be kind to somebody. Bye.